Welcome back everyone. It has been a while that I posted something and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Yusuf. I'm a sports psychologist and my goal is here to teach you the mindset, the mental game of elite athletes and how you can apply it to your own life and to achieve your goal even better. So if you're ambitious, if you're like a business owner, if you're an athlete or if you have personal goals that you're chasing, your fitness goals, whatever, uh, this is the place for you to be to learn and adopt that elite athlete mindset. All right, today I want to talk about I want to talk about dominance, about like a Mike Tyson enter the room presence dominance. That how you can like come into the room and everybody is like um, feeling. They feel your presence and if you tell them something, they will do it. But I'm not going to talk about how you can achieve that. That has a lot of, like, it's a lot about nonverbal uh, signals, like a body language and even your tonality, how you talk and how you say something and what kind of assertiveness you say it. It's not about that. I want to talk more about, like, the ethical side of dominance because I have what I've witnessed is like that people that have never been dominant once they get power they become abusers of their power which is not okay and which can get them in a lot of trouble because the only reason someone was never dominant and now they have like in a position to be dominant is they got some kind of power and so that means like before that they were pretty weak there are pretty there are pretty weak and they didn't have that status before so status is one thing to achieve that power but really like to be a dominant person if you have nothing if you have no status or whatever like being strong is really really like is the crucial factor because at the end of the day what are these people afraid of? They're afraid of, um, once they become like, they are afraid of that physical confrontation. So that's why they never had it before. For me, for example, before I was 18, I was like going through life and I was never really like that dominant. And I don't remember how it was back then, like if I was seeking that or not. But I always like, no, I, I was always like able to duke it out if I had to. But then like with seven, end of 17, beginning of 18, I started boxing, kickboxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I've been doing martial arts since then and I have, I can defend myself. And this is what's really important. I never use my power. I never use my strength to impose my will on others. But I always like, I know it's there if I have to defend myself. So if you want to gain power, if you want to become more dominant, if you've never been dominant, don't expect it to be right away. Just by watching this video, just by watching a few videos and then tomorrow you're, you're dominant or even next week or even next month. Forget it. If you've lived your life, like let's say like you're 25 years and you never had like a position of power, you've never been dominant and people never followed your lead, then don't expect it to happen in a month or two. It's a process and you have to start winning like really mini battles. You have to like level up. You can do that by keeping eye contact with strangers and not break it first or you can start telling people like smaller things to do and then like you can work your way up. But the, the, the most important thing I believe what's necessary is um, you have to be able to face the consequences. And one thing that you really should do is like to train a martial art. It doesn't matter like what I can tell you, like the different strategies, because martial arts is going to be the way that's going to teach you, that's going to teach you to keep yourself humble and to also like experience like to know what kind of consequences come up can come up think about this the way you get better in martial arts is you're gonna get your butt kicked a bunch of times 
And until you get strong, you also get humble. Um, that's why it's really, really important. Otherwise, like, it's such a good feeling to have dominance, to be dominant and to get your way, especially if you're following a bigger vision, a bigger goal. Like in sports, it's so important like to have like this presence. So when you're on the field, your opponents get intimidated and you can impose your will board. That's at the end of the day, that's what winning is, like imposing your will on others. Or even at your workplace, like if you have colleagues and you guys need to get done a pro like you guys need to get a project done, you can like tell them like what to do because you have a vision, you have a plan to go with that. And if you think like that's the best way, then you have to like really sell people on that idea. It's always good to be intimidating as well, but never abuse it because the consequences can be real. And if you can't defend yourself, if you can't defend, like if you can't handle the consequences, don't do it, don't do it. So at the end of the day, if you wanna really become a more dominant person, start to become stronger, become physically stronger, pay, respect yourself so if you tell yourself you're going to do something go do it because nobody is going to take you serious if you can't even follow your own lead and also like if you want to become a leader if you want to like become dominant and tell people what to do you have to be you have to be able to lead by example because that's how you gain respect it's all about respect like the thing is with respect, if there's respect, there's always a certain degree of fear, threat. Like let's say you're a boss, you can fire somebody. Let's say you're a landlord, you can kick someone out. You can, um, if you're strong, like there's a threat that you can like punch them. It's nicely said. And it should always like if you want to become dominant you should always be able to communicate clearly but also in a respectful way but still be assertive if you want something like you stick to it and be like all right you stand your ground and tell them what to do but never be threatening because once you're threatening once you're being an a-hole that's where things can go wrong and the whole Found like you don't have a real foundation then you build a skyscraper and then that thing can crumble because t uh, trust me like people that always have a way to pay back and that's why like for me it's really important to come out with this video and tell you guys like if you want to become dominant do it in an ethical way do it in a respectful way and get yourself stronger because if you have a strong presence then peop like people can smell weakness. And if they can smell it on you, boy, they're not gonna take you serious. Even if you have a point, even if you have something where you can threaten them, they're gonna get back to you. So guys, my main message, become strong, become strong, become physically strong, go Train a martial art, get your butt kicked, train a real martial art, train jiu-jitsu, train boxing, train MMA, train kickboxing, train something real where you also have like spar and have body contact where you can test your skills. That's how you're going to gain a lot more confidence. And with that confidence, you will have a presence where you can stand your ground. And if you want people to follow your lead, then you can like dominate the conversation, and tell them where to go. Guys, thanks for being here and watching this. Please subscribe. And yeah, like I want to grow this channel. I want to help you guys out. It's really like I love this topic on mindset, teaching you guys how to become better, how to become stronger, and also still be a good person the whole process. And sometimes like I'm also going to teach you how to be a shark. That's also really important because... There's a difference between good and nice. And let me tell you something, nice doesn't cut it. All right, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I see you next time.